Fortnite has been producing some of the best original and collaborative content in all of gaming history. But it hasn't always been that way. In Chapter 1, there was a lot of stuff that Fortnite was claiming was theirs and just profiting off of. If you remember Fresh and the lawsuit that spun off of that, and now even Backpack Kid is suing over the Flossy mode. But it didn't just stop at dances. Fortnite has been taking direct inspiration for even some of their skins. So this is the top 10 Fortnite skin ripoffs. Number 10. Starting this list off weird with Leviathan taking inspiration from the movie Megamind, of all things, which is a cinematic masterpiece. There is no Easter Bunny, there is no Tooth Fairy, and there is no Queen of England. But Leviathan clearly draws inspiration from Megamind's minion, so appropriately named Minion. Hilarious. Uh, why Fortnite chose to copy this, I'm not so sure. Number 9. And the one from the thumbnail, you guys probably saw this one coming, Rust Lord and Star Lord. Not only did Fortnite get away with the design of this character, they decided to double down and rip off his name too. This was during kind of like the peak MCU era around Infinity War, but the skin was released right before Thanos came to the island, so it seems that Marvel and Epic had a really good relationship at this time, so they were probably cool with it. Great. Valor from the Chapter 1 Season 4 Battle Pass was clearly Starfire, Maybe not like Teen Titan Starfire, which is like the version of Starfire that we eventually got in the game, but like 80s alien looking Starfire. A big trend with this list is that a lot of these characters are superhero references, oddly enough. Number 7. Magnus the Viking looks like the Dovahkiin from Skyrim. Maybe this one's a stretch, and if it is, call me out in the comments, but maybe all Vikings to me look like they're about to yell Fusro Da at me. While we didn't get the Skyrim version of the game, we eventually did get a collab with Elder Scrolls, um, actually fairly recently, which is pretty cool because I'm sure many Elder Scrolls fans were happy to spend their money on this rather than the 40th re-release of Skyrim. Number 6. Relax Fit Jonesy is a reference to Fat Thor in Avengers Endgame who, funnily enough, was playing Fortnite. That kid on the TV just called me a dickhead again. Noob Master. Yeah, Noob Master 69. I remember around this time and seeing this clip in theaters, and I wasn't sure if it was really funny or really cringy. I'm still not sure, but I think if half the universe got snapped away because I didn't go for the head, I would get fat and play Fortnite too. Number 5. Far Out Man looks like John Lennon on the cover of Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. You guys might say that that's what everyone looked like in the 70s. Yeah, you want to know why? Because the Beatles were that great. They influenced generations. Look up Beatlemania. It beats One Direction any day. Number 4. The Flatfoot set is a clear gender-bent version of John McClane from Die Hard. It comes complete with toes out for the world to see. Um, surely, that's not why people buy the set, right? But it does have one of my favorite back blings, which is another great reference to that film that I can't show. I guess Call of Duty got to Die Hard first. But we got the better looking version, so I'm happy with that. Number three. And then Bigfoot is just absurd to me because that's clearly your mom. She should really do something about that. Oh, I know. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Number two. Master Key was the weirdest off brand looking Naruto. I really despise those weird sideburns that he has. Um. I'm glad I didn't play this season because this would be going straight into my archive. Thankfully, Naruto came to the game later. And number one. Reaper being the tier 100 skin of chapter one season three was crazy. Because no one even called him Reaper, everyone just called him John Wick back then. How this didn't spark a lawsuit is beyond me. They even gave him a pencil pickaxe to represent one of his most gruesome kills in the movie, which can't show that either. Then somehow Epic managed to smooth things over and bring the actual John Wick into the game. Well played Epic. Well played. Looking back, a lot of these skins ended up making it into the game anyways, so I guess everyone just wants a slice of that V-Bucks pie. Anyways, thanks for watching.